I often get asked, hey Chris, how do you get rid of dandelions in your lawn? Well, I'm gonna show you a really neat trick on how to get rid of dandelions in your lawn today. You ready? Instant dandelion removal problem solved. Now, back to the question of what fertilizer to use. If you wanna use a Scotts brand fertilizer or any type of fertilizer you get from your local store, that's okay. Just go ahead and use it. It's gonna do you a lot of good. Now, what type of fertilizer do I use? Well, that's a great question. Fertilizer that I've used in the past has been organic fertilizer. And yes, I'm gonna be upfront with you all, especially if you watch some of my videos from last year, I use fertilizer that you get in the States. Now, why did I use that fertilizer that I got down in the States? One big reason, because it's an organic fertilizer and it wasn't chemical based. And I absolutely love using organics wherever I can. It's actually healthier for the environment and it's healthier for your lawn overall. So the product that I've been using is Melorganite. Now with everything going on in the world, I can't get down to get Melorganite. So I've been on the hunt, so I've been on the hunt for a Canadian alternative, something that I could actually switch to and use permanently. So I was able to find something online searching through uh, various forums and whatnot. And I found this stuff called ActiSoil. So ActiSoil is actually a pure hen manure that we're gonna be trying out here today. As you can see here, this is the Melorganite product that I've been using for quite a number of years. And to be quite honest with you guys, this has probably been the number one reason why my front yard is in such good shape. I switched from a chemical-based fertilizer to this organic fertilizer. The best thing about using an organic-based fertilizer as opposed to a chemical-based fertilizer, it's not gonna burn your lawn if you over-apply it. Especially true for this Melorganite product. And one of the other great things that I enjoyed about using Melorganite so much was that it actually had iron in it. And iron helps give you that nice dark green bluish tint to your lawn. So this stuff, it's absolutely fantastic, but I'm sorry to say, it's time to switch to a Canadian-based solution and my time with Melorganite is now over. So in its place, I've been able to source this product called Acisol. And as I mentioned before, this is a complete, this is complete hen manure as opposed, to, as opposed to Melorganite, which is a biosolid, which basically is just human waste. So we're still using, so we're still gonna end up using manure on the lawn. So we're gonna give this stuff a try and see how it works. I have a feeling I'm actually gonna really enjoy using this on my lawn over the summer. So as you can see, a bag of this stuff will actually cover 2,150 square feet of your lawn, but that's not the important thing. The important thing are the numbers here at the bottom of the bag. So you see at the bottom of the bag here, we have five, three, and two. So because I'm looking for nitrogen, and I want to put it, and I want to put down about three quarters of a pound of nitrogen, I'm going to end up using about 14 or 15 pounds of this stuff, which is almost about three quarters of the bag. So these pellets are actually pretty, pretty big. They're a lot larger than what you would see with a normal fertilizer, like a Melorganite or like any type of Scotch product. So when we put this down on our spreader and we put it in our lawn, we're going to have to have it on a very high setting just to try it out and see if we can get this product spread evenly across the lawn. Now what they say about Melorganite, that it smells pretty sweet and it smells like success. Now this stuff here, this smells up like, this smells like straight up poop. So I like this nice little handy guide down here. It tells you how much everything weighs if you use say, a measuring cup, whatever the case may be. Now I'm gonna eyeball this and use about three quarters of the bag because I'm used to fertilizing and I kind of know what I need in my lawn. So for everyone at home who doesn't know exactly how much fertilizer they need to use, I'd say if you have a kitchen scale at home and a bucket, throw it in there, weigh it out. So I know I wanna put down 14 pounds for per thousand square feet of this stuff. So I know I'm gonna use about three quarters of the bag. So the one thing on this bag that doesn't say anything is what spreader setting that you need to use to put this down. So I'm gonna test it out on a bit of a higher spreader setting because of the size of these pellets and see what kind of coverage I'm gonna get. After that, if I know it's okay, I'll leave it at that specific spreader setting. That way I know I'm getting a good amount of coverage. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to get any of this product out, but we're certainly gonna try. So one thing we wanna be sure of is when we're going around doing what's called a trim pass, which basically is just going around the edge of the lawn, 
we want to make sure that this edge guard is set to the on position that way you're not getting it into your driveway or in my case your neighbor's yard Right now I'm having a bit of a problem getting a lot of this product out of the hopper. So I know I'm gonna to need to up the settings a little bit in order to get some product out of this spreader. All right, let's go with that and try that out. So one thing that's actually really important is you want to go in opposite directions. You want to go one way up and down across your lawn, and then you want to go left or right across the other way. That helps in order to ensue and even coverage a product. Now to finish this off, what we want to do is we want to actually, if you have a leaf blower, blow that fertilizer back on the lawn because we don't want that in the driveway and getting into the sewer system. In my case, I'm just going to broom it back onto the lawn. So one important thing to note that's really going to help you get a kickstart when you fertilize your lawn is you're going to want to water this in. Watering it, watering it Boy, I say that three times fast. Watering the fertilizer in is gonna help you get that quick start you want in order for that fertilizer to start working its way into the ground and help paying benefits for you in the long run. Now, luckily for us, or unluckily, depending on how you look at it, the next two days, we're gonna have about two inches of rain each day. So we got about 100 millimeters of rain coming our way over the next two days. I'm hoping we really don't get that much because that's gonna be a lot to handle. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this product works in the lawn because it would be great to use a Canadian made solution that is organic. So, I'm again, so again, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the results are gonna be. The one thing that I am gonna miss from using Melorganite is the iron that it gives the lawn. Again, iron gives it that dark green bluish tinge to make your lawn a lot darker than what it is now. So I might have to find another source of iron to put down on this lawn a little bit later on this summer. If you like this video, please click the like button below and also subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when new videos get released. Thanks for joining us for this video. I look forward to seeing you next time. And for all of us here in Canada, have a great May 2-4 weekend.